of mice and men, this much is certain. Being sexed permeates every major feature of our mammalian bodies and the lives we live inside them. But for over a century, the female body has been radically left out of biological and medical research. That's finally starting to change. And what we're learning about the biology of sex differences is rewriting the story of humanity. When scientists study only the male norm, we're getting less than half of a complicated picture. And we often don't even realize what we're missing because we forgot to ask the question. What's different about the female body? How does that change what we see? I realized we needed a kind of user's manual for the female mammal. A no-nonsense, hard-hitting, seriously researched, but readable account of what we are, how our bodies evolved, how they work, what it really means to be a woman. Most origin stories are simple a god or two, a single Eden, maybe a bit of clay. But the truth of where we come from is more complex. We have many Eves and many Edens. We evolved over a nearly unimaginable amount of time in massively different environments, each in sequence, at each moment as unlikely to survive as we are today. But you can trace that story, actually, if you look carefully enough. It's written, on our bodies. Eve picks a few key chapters in our evolution to tell the story that we somehow keep forgetting matters the most. The story of our mothers, our many mothers, our Eves. They're the reason we're here at all. By all scientific accounts, we really shouldn't be. Eve traces the evolution of women's bodies from tits to toes, and how that evolution shapes our lives today. Unraveling how each of our features really came to be gives us a better picture of what women are. One half of a very young, complex, and fascinating species. If you want to understand women's bodies, it's largely these Eves and their Edens you need to think about. 